Hey, good morning, everyone. Trackman44 here. Uh, every now and then, you get an opportunity to, to upgrade some of the stuff in your shop. Uh, and though I really didn't need this thing here, I chose to go ahead and pick it up and install it in the new shed. What it is, it's a seven and a half horsepower, uh, two-stage American-made industrial air air compressor. It's really a good product. There's no doubt about it. But did you ever wonder what you do to check and make sure that uh, the uh, efficiency of the compressor is still what it should be? Uh, you can refer to that as volumetric efficiency simply because you have to have a certain factor to determine whether or not it's worth continuing to run a compressor as it gets older and older. Now this one here is not that old, but what you can also do is use that to record over the course of a number of years if that machine is actually wearing uh, wearing down to where it needs pistons and rings or just a ring job or something like that or the valve plates or, or whatever uh, replaced. Uh, there's a calculation that you do and what I've done is I've just finished wiring this thing in. I run 70 foot, I think 70 foot of conduit and um, about 70 foot of um, number 8 because it does draw 21 amps. 21 amp is okay on number 10 but if I'm on a project that makes this thing run a lot or continuous, that number 10 might have a tendency to warm up. So I thought, well, you know, um, we just run number eight and be done with it. So that's what we did in one inch conduit with plenty of room inside the conduit uh, for heat dissipation and also just to pull it through that physical distance with only two uh, sweeps. There's a calculation that you use. Uh, years ago, we did a lot of service work for a lot of printing companies in the big city, and we did took care of their air conditioning, but we also serviced their generators, their natural gas, in some cases propane fire generators, so we had to stay on top of that kind of stuff. And in many of the printing companies, we also took care of the air conditioners. And what I'd always do is I'd always run a volumetric efficiency test on them, just for my own record, just to see, you know, if the things were wearing down and wearing out over the course of the years. And there's a constant that you use to measure it, to, to measure by. Um, you can just pick a pressure that you want to charge it to, charge the tank to, and work off of that pressure. And just for instance, I'll use this at 175 pounds because it is a two-stage compressor capable of doing that. So what you do is you take the size of the tank. In this case, it's an 80-gallon tank. You take that 80-gallon capacity, and it doesn't matter what the capacity of the tank is, but you multiply it by the factor of 0.536. That's a standard factor for multiplication on any size tank. But at any rate, you take the uh, the 80 gallon tank times the 0.536, and I actually did that just a minute ago, and that comes out to 42.88. So then what you do is you multiply that factored number, 42.88, times the 175 PSI. Okay, and that will give you, and I multiplied that out a minute ago too, you will give you 7,504. Now what you do is you take the number of seconds it took the compressor to pump it up to that pressure that you wanted to to check to, in my case 175 pounds, so you take that number divided by the number of seconds it took to attain and shut off. And this thing here took me 6 minutes and 23 seconds. You can do that in your head. 6 times 6 is 36, so that's 360 seconds plus 23, so that's 683 seconds. So take that uh, what I say, 7504. Take that 7504 and divide that by the uh, six, 683 seconds. And it comes out to 10.9 CFM. So this thing is rated at 11 CFM and it's still producing pretty doggone close to 11 CFM. Now you have to take some factors into consideration. A little bit of delay on me starting my timer. A little bit of a, a delay on me stopping the timer. Uh, so there's factors like that, but you're still in the ballpark. So now you can understand exactly what you got to do to check your compressor. If you if you have a brand new compressor and they say it's a 17 CFM, you can just check it and see. Because it's got to be a mighty big compressor to be 17 CFM, I tell you. Uh, this guy here, I think I think the paperwork said it was 11 CFM. I'd have to check and see again, but I think that's what I remembered reading. But uh, this one here is really, even though it's several years old, it's a dead nut right on it. So I'm happy about that. And you know what? This is a quick and simple video, just kind of a... A uh, little bit of a tidbit for you guys working in the shop. If you want to check your compressor, go ahead and run with it, man. It'll work every time. And you know what? This is Trackman44, and I'm out of here, guys.